Hello, welcome to this new tutorial under Halfon 3D. Today, we will see how to display a scene in VR. The description of the program is a bit long, so we will divide this tutorial into two videos of about 10 minutes. We will start by installing the Halfon wheel for Python. For that, that's very simple. We open the PowerShell Python minus m pipe install Arfon. This will install the latest version of Harfon available online. We will start by downloading the resources we need to run our program. On the Harfon 3D page, we will take Asset C. Next, on GitHub, we will take the basic shaders for the Harfon pipeline. Download zip. Next, we will download the scene that will be used as an example in our program. We go to GitHub in the Tutorials Resources, display a scene VR, sofascene.zip, download. For a more detailed description of all these resources, I invite you to watch the video linked in the description. Once we have downloaded the resources, we will unarchive them and organize our directory. Asset C that we will extract in asset C. Then we will create an assets directory in which we will put our basic shaders and our scene. Basic shaders that we will extract in a directory that we will rename core on the scene that we extract directly here. Then we will compile our assets. So we will put asset in the executable asset C and the compilation can start. The compilation can take a few minutes because there are many shaders and textures to compile. Before we start coding, let's take a look at how matrices work in VR. In a normal scene, the user only needs a camera matrix, which he can manipulate as he pleases, movement and rotation. In VR, the only matrix that the user can manipulate is the body matrix. The VR system will send us the head matrix, that's to say the displacement of the user's head, and the two matrices that correspond to the left and right eyes. These two matrices, left and right, will be used for the rendering. In VR, you have to know that there are two renderings, one per eye, which give us the relief effect. The body matrix is parent to the head matrix, which is parent to both eye matrices. We will now move on to writing the program. So let's start by adding the file, display a, a scene vr.p. We will first import Harfon, import Harfon as hg. Then we will initialize Harfon init arfon hg dot input init to initialize inputs mouse on keyboard hg dot window system init to initialize the window system then we will open the window on the screen the resolution with 8 equal 1280 by 720 then we will create the window window equal hg dot render init arfon 3d that's the title of the window display a scene vr the resolution of the window with 8, then the different flags RF V sync 
to synchronize the display with the screen scan hg.rf msaa for x for the level of anti-aliasing and finally hg.rf max anisotropy Anisotropy allows a more accurate texture rendering, also a bit more time consuming. HG dot add assets folder. This is the directory that contains our resources. Assets compiled. Then we initialize the pipeline. Init pipeline. Resources equal ag dot pipeline resources. If you want more details on the pipeline, I invite you to watch the tutorial Display a scene, which you will find a link in the description. Pipeline equal ag dot create forward pipeline render data equal hg dot send for world pipeline render data this function will create a data block that will be used for the rendering pipeline then we will initialize the vr setup vr so if not hg.openvr init. If VR is available, then there is no problem. And if not, we will return an error. Error can't open openvr. Then the VR under Arfan is managed by the openvr library. And if all goes well, we will create the from buffers that will be used for the rendering. VR left FB equal HG dot open VR create a frame buffer HG dot OP R A A M S A A for X and V R right F B. We have the same parameters, namely anti-aliasing. The frame buffers are simply textures in which the scene will be rendered, seen from the left A and seen from the right A, as we have seen previously. Then we will initialize the scene, set up 3D scene, scene equal hg dot scene. For more details about loading a scene, I invite you to watch the tutorial called Display a Scene. You will find the link in the description. HG load scene from assets main send.scn. This is the scene we downloaded earlier. We give him our scene object, the resources. And hg dot get forward pipeline info. We send him the information on the Arfan rendering pipeline. Then we will create variables that we will use later. Camera node. So we take the node of the camera. Scene dot get node camera. VR and then the camera component camera component equal camera node dot get camera 
and we have come to the end of the first part of this tutorial. We'll get to the main loop next week. You can subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications. See you next week for the rest of this tutorial.